All right, shit's bonkers. I'm the boss now. Let's see what happens next. I've got a magic gun. I'm fighting ghosts. All the employees are floating. This is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Did you just... I, th I thought it landed in a way where it, like, damaged the floor. And you're also floating. Okay. Kind of thought that at least in here I might find somebody. Marshall, AWE Investigations. Marshall, we checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. Wasn't anything. Just the house fire before the- just like the house fire before this, and the malfunctioning clothes dry before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. I don't know, I kind of suspect that the AWEs might be a little harder to pin down consistently, so they might not even be- they might even be real at the time. But then- then they- but they might leave or something. But I'm guessing. Oh, reduced ammo cost per shot, so I'd probably get one more bullet overall. I think that's the implication. You alright? I don't even know if you're real, honestly. <laughs> me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Is the that hiss your enemy? Contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. She said, is the hiss your enemy? And then it all went glowy for a second. I can only assume that that's either me or whoever she's talking to responding. Her other personality or somebody she is remotely in contact with or something. I mean, I'm inclined to think it's me because of. That's, uh, isn't that right, Zach? I can dig it. The way to drown out the hiss, the chanting. It uh, doesn't have very much, doesn't have a lot of range to it though. Physics. Oh my god, look at that, look at that plant go. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Visitor evaluations. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of the effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How did you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem... blep, escort them to a private room. There perform the gunner's psychological assessment. assessment. If their responses are within acceptable ranges of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then blep immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. So we're in, we're in New York. I think that's the first establishment we've had of that. Hmm. To figure out what they are and then, I don't know. Do you capture them? Do you contain them? Do you kill them? The action is censored, which is weird. You're right there? You look like you're freaking out like that. That one rooftop from Dark Souls. Honestly, everything else is so weird that I can't even question it that much. Oh. Glass breaks. What does that say? 
Let's say hi and welcome to some new people in the oldest house. And everyone's photographed with like an old Polaroid. Because everything's so retro in here, technology-wise. They use Polaroids for cameras. Urban Legends. Examination of para-natural topics. Urban Legends. Summary. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain informed by our own and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can be artificially in popular culture using our Bureau-made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exasperates the details. Certain par uh, paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of pol uh, popularized folklore, AWEs that only occur on a pair of scissors that consume human uh, souls, flesh, through punctures on the skin, scalp, Eyeballs? Slicing up eyeballs, I want you to know. These details, living in the minds of so many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranatural realities waiting to happen. This time the reference file is not censored. For all the good that does me. Once again, we're referencing scissors. Like this scissors thing is gonna come up at some point, apparently. If if evil scissors. The gun turns orange when I point it at people. Is it the triangles in here too? Oh, all the brutalist architectures have gone all fucky. It used to be all it used to be clean walls. Yeah, like this. In this room, it's gone crazy. A series of nuts shapes that would be a huge pain to actually craft out of cement. So this is a building shift, right? Do I have to jump down? Oh. Okay, the game's starting to hitch. Oh boy. Oh, I died. Okay. I wonder if the sheer amount of smoke and so on is making the game... is just taxing the game a lot. When I shoot him that many times. I wonder what setting I should change. You sent me how far back? I mean, I guess I haven't done anything besides read some documents. Do I get to keep the documents? Okay, that's a, that's already open. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Okay. What am I doing here? Nope. Oh. Wow. Damn. Not an easy kill. the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. Probably means press F on something. Holy shit. You did it. We 
did it. Hello. Can you hear me? Are you with us? With the Bureau? Ah, uh, you're Pope. Are you still sane? Hey, people are still just floating everywhere. Please, talk to me. We saw you deal with the compromised agents. Compromised? So they're not illusions, they are corrupted people. That's a lot of people I'm shooting. Is Holy shit. To come out? I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... <sighs> Look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Cleanse the hiss corrupted agent. You? Too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Wow, we've killed a lot of humans today. On our first day. On our first hour. 
Energy recovery speed. I feel like we want more health in general, because the health seems to regen super slowly. What? Assets. Materials. Undefined reading. Hidden trend. House memory. Conceptual materials. Those are things. Hiss agent. The hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating through this, the bureau. The hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption, like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons, preparing to enter the next stage of evolution? When attacked, hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or un undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form? Research is ongoing. I deleted her. I've killed like 20 people today already, haven't I? Jesse's taking that pretty well. Fast travel and outfits? Huh. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type, I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof, this is already it, more than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. 
I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Unknown Thanks, caller. Emily. The thing looked like Cerebro. Except instead of being Professor X's way of talking or communicating or locating any mutant, this is like... It's a ghost phone in the middle of a giant soundproofed sphere. It's hard to make out in the darkness, but everything looked spiky out there, and I'm pretty sure that was old noise foam. Like, it's a giant soundproofed, soundproofed uh, sphere, specifically so that one strange connected phone could apparently talk to ghosts, or at least specifically the previous director. The hotline should be in the communications department. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all... Well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. 
Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. You know, uh, clearly most people didn't have them, so it seems suspiciously like he was choosing who to save from this thing. Hmm. Also, I don't seem to need one. Probably because of whatever this consciousness is that I seem to have access to. But no one's questioning that. She's helpful, but she's way too chipper about this whole thing, considering at my first recognition, it really feels like 90% of their entire workforce just died. Like everyone's dead. Kind of a, that seems like a problem to me. Oh my God, that's what this place is shaped like, huh? All right. Try to find the hotline. Dead letters. More of these. Health and element pickup, 20%. Yeah, but I've already got 24%. Seems like I've already won that one. Oh, I actually have a, a goal here. There it is again. A welcome message. Energy recovery. It sounded like he was saying E-I-E-I-O for a second there. Recovery speed of 19%. That is a lot better. Oh, no, it's not. I mixed it up with the 6%. That was the other thing I saw. It was reduced energy cost, I think, of gun. No, nope. don't have access. The bureau. They have a newspaper. There's something in there. They've foamed up all of the doors. Well, that's eerie. 